Welcome to Other Levels. Today, you will continue to learn how you can create this financial analysis of projects dashboard using Microsoft Excel. In the first video tutorial, we have explained the dashboard contents and the color codes used in this template. Visit our online store, other-levels.com to get our templates. Let's continue. We will add a pivot table showing the total count for each project's status. And use VLOOKUP formula to extract the values from the pivot tables to these cells. Add another one for the projects by the owner sector. It's time to insert project values by department pivot table. Add the department in the row field, and project values in the values field. Then we will format sum of project values to custom format of million. Instead of adding the new pivot table, Duplicate the same for ease. It's time to create pivot table for line chart. We will add years and month target in row field and target and actual amount in value field. Now, let's input the required values. Give reference of total target. Let's repeat the steps for total actual now. Calculate the gap of target and actual and gap percentage. We will now insert line chart from the pivot table. Then move it to dashboard. Let's copy previous pivot table to get the gap one. We will move the project status in filter field and remove saving from value field. Now, insert gap 1 and project's value in values field. Let's calculate the gap 1 percentage of project's value using formula. Also, we will give reference of gap 1 values in the next cell. It's time to insert the donut chart. So, let's calculate the gap percentage in positive value to show the donut chart in correct appearance. Type equal, if, then select gap percent, if less than 0%, so multiply gap percent with minus 1, comma, if wrong result of keep the gap percent. Now, insert the donut chart from gap 1% table. We will copy the previous pivot table for gap 2, gap 3, and gap 4 and modify the values field accordingly. Let's repeat the previous steps to calculate the formulas. Now, insert the remaining donut charts for all the gap and move it to dashboard.
We will insert two text box and give reference of gap 1% and gap 1 value. Let's repeat the process for gap 2, gap 3 and gap 4. We will start create a dynamic line chart titles changes depending on slicer selection. First we need a pivot table here showing years. Insert a slicer. Hide items with no data, and the display header. Now link each pivot table values to this table. So as you can see, it is mirroring the slicer selection. We need to sum all these years, as it will be as a key to identify what years are selected from the slicer. And this step to avoid errors when you select multiple years from the slicers. For example, if we select 2023 and 2024, the total will be 4047, and this result we will use it to get the other values as you will see in the next part. Add new pivot table in above showing the current month. Link it to this column. This table has all the possibilities that you can select, as we have three years only, so we need to fill these columns with it. Then sum all these years to get the final key. Now we will use concatenate formula to get the dynamic sentence. Great, do the same for the actual text. And finally, to show final results use VLOOKUP formula based on the BL9 cell value. As you can see, the idea works perfectly, now let's add it to the dashboard sheet. And add the all other values and data to the dashboard as well.
Next we will add the RFP milestones line chart. Select the milestones and the total projects, then insert a line chart. Now we will start to create the dynamic indicator for this chart. From Developer tab, insert a scroll bar. From the Format control, set the values as required. Choose the cell link, then press OK. Use VLOOKUP formula to get the project value and the other details. Now everything is ready, let move them to the dashboard. It's time to highlight the filtered stage. Let's create a table using formula. We want the highlighter in the filtered value cell from the database sheet. The equation will be as follows. Type equal, if, select the stage title, then freeze it. Type equal and then choose the first milestones from database sheet, comma. If correct show I letter in uppercase, comma, and if wrong value 2 double quotation mark to keep the cell empty. Now, freeze the database cell reference to lock it and change the reference of each stage to respective milestones so that we get the required result. Let's go to Dashboard, insert a text box and give reference of the stage numbers from the pivot table sheet. Then copy the box instead of adding the new one for our ease and repeat the previous step for each milestone. Select all the text boxes to align it to top and distribute it horizontally. Let's group them together for the chart. Now, we will move the year slicer to dashboard. 
Let's copy the text box and give reference of status cancelled, in progress and completed. Copy the project status text box and change the reference to respective project numbers. We will repeat the process for our project and shared project status and count. That's all for today's video, hope you learned something useful for you. On the other hand, you have an easy way to directly purchase this template from our website other-levels.com. Thank you, and see you in the next video.